What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. As I do Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content and videos. Hi, how is everybody? I have missed y'all. I hope everybody had a good day or a good weekend and a good end of your week uh, last week. Um, I'm here. I am back. I bought these books a while ago now from the thrift shop. There's this wonderful, um, this wonderful book here that I'm kind of excited. Um, it's about floral print quilts. And so I, I literally always make all of my covers quilt style with so many florals. So I was really excited when I found this book. It's really, really pretty. I think the pages are going to be, um, they're, I think they're going to look really, really pretty in my journal. So I am really excited about it. So that is this one. I also have this Good Housekeeping Illustrated Cookbook, which I kind of like the size of some of these recipes. Let me show you. Most of my recipes are a rectangle shape. And then here we have a, almost like a square. I mean, it is rectangle, but it's this way instead of oriented long way. So I'm excited. I think I'm going to cut these out and use those in my junk journals. So I'm excited about that. Hi, Miss Gigi. How are you? I have this awesome book here on perennials. And it just has a lot of beautiful photo in of floral images. So I really like, I have this Christmas book here, which is just really cool. And I, I like the illustrations on there, so that's kind of why I got it. <clears throat> and then the easiest one to cut up, I'm going to do first. I don't know if this is like a book, is this a journal? It's a scrapbook. So all it is, is literally lined page on one side. Hi, Miss Patricia. How are you, girlfriend? I got lined page on one side and then these buttons on this side and it has like the spiral spine. So I'm just, this one's the easiest here. I'm just going to cut these. And you guys, these Tim Holtz scissors are so like, I don't use them for crafting. I use them when I have to cut stuff like this or when I got to go cut rosemary from my rosemary bush. I'll oh, get these scissors out. So this, like I said, this is a weird, I guess you're supposed to like add pictures and stuff when you write down your recipes. I don't know. But it is out now. So these, I'm gonna probably, maybe I'll cut these off here, but these will get folded like this. Or they'll get folded like this. I don't know, I gotta, I mostly cut these down to be eight, eight by 10. That's usually the size that I use here. Hang on a moment, I think I need to cut these again. They're too close together. That should pop out. Um, tomorrow I'll be in California. So I'm not going to come back until I guess Wednesday. It would be Wednesday. So I'm going to be in Cali. So don't expect me tomorrow. My schedule lately it's been a little bit weird um last thursday i was like cutting out ephemera and journal cards and stuff so my hands hurt so that's why i didn't go live on thursday and then friday i do friday oh yeah friday was my anniversary what is wrong with this thing it's like all the things turned hang on oh no i have to speak Oh my goodness. Shredded that. Just completely shredded it. This is nice. It's just like a bunch of printed paper. Lined paper. I love all kinds of lined paper, so I'm always on the lookout for anything with lines on it, be it receipt paper or whatever. If it has lines on it, I don't want it. I don't think I need these. Covered here. Oh, now I got all over the floor and I got to sleep. I don't want my cat to eat this stuff. Okay, hang on. That was messy. That was a mess, mess, mess. 
Okay, so uh, one book down, right? All right, one book down. Next to go, I'm gonna do, let's see about the perennial one. The perennial one, it's kind of thick, but I kind of already worked at it right here. I kind of started like folding it in half. At a part where the where there's like a separation in the booklets. So I started folding it in half. You know what I could do? I'm gonna use the cover, the last book to kind of protect my cutting board here. Get my whatever this blade is called. What's this sticky blade called? I want to say exactly what I make, but I know it's not the name of it. Ugh. Box cutter. It's a box cutter. <laughs> Don't do that, that was kind of dangerous. <laughs> Cutting books open is, is not an activity for children. Oh my goodness. I know, I need to cut this blade out. I need a new blade, you know? Okay, well that could happen too. Just a part like that. So once you have it apart like that, Take off the cover. That helps. And now I can at least pull the pages off. I love index pages too. Oh, index pages are great. Cartoon pages. I love an, a good index page. Yes, good index thread. Hi Stephanie. Hello, hello. So now this will make it a lot easier to kind of rip off the pages and I don't get those funky edges. Well, I kind of do, but these are fine. These edges are fine. Glue off and then again, I like to buy books that are nice and big. If one of these pages can be used as, you know, a, a folded page and a signature, that's a good size. I love a small page for like uh, a nice small book page for like pockets and stuff, but I need big pages like this for my signatures. Uh, hi, Miss Vanessa, how are you? I think I already said hi to Missy Jim. I'm pretty sure I did. So there's that. I have to pull all these pages apart. And around here, I'll start switching it to the side eventually, because this edge, you could take off the glue with your hand. You could also keep cutting it with a knife here. Like that. See, oh, that's good. That's good. Just kind of cutting off the glue, because the glue chunks are what make the pages fray. Okay, oh my goodness. Guys, I can't wait to get started on the next journals. I'm so excited. Okay. Pull all these apart like this. Again, at least this way I get a nice clean edge here. And these pages are so much fun. I already have to cut these down to size anyways. So I like to have these already cut out and done and ready for me to use. So that way I can just grab them and put them in a signature. Oops, sorry, I touched the camera. <laughs> Y'all know it's not my show unless I touch the camera once or twice, a couple of times. Now, be careful with doing this, you guys, because it will hurt your hands. You can't do too much of this. Well, at least I can't. My hands start hurting. So definitely take your time when it comes to tearing books apart. Don't do it all in one day, maybe. 
this kid could hurt someone. It's, it's actually pretty strenuous. And that one's a beautiful paper. It's pretty strenuous on your hands. So be mindful of that. Very, very mindful. Okay, so I got all my string quilt journals, they're all done. The only thing is that I didn't realize, I have, I've had these for a minute, I gotta get, these are all finished now too. They've all got their ephemera loaded up, they're all decorated. I think I was missing like the last three pages of like a couple of them to be decorated, but I didn't realize I had already numbered these. So I'm going to have to, I bought some white out. <laughs> And I gotta adjust some of the uh, string quilt journals as numbers. Whoops, it happens. And I have mine out, so that's good. Okay, I think I'm doing pretty good for 11 minutes in. <laughs> doing pretty good, pretty good. I have a file, how do you guys uh, organize your journal pages? I have a filing cabinet. And the filing cabinet is exclusively for pages that'll go into journals. So I got all my line pages in there. I got all my book pages in there that I'm gonna use in journals. So that's where these are gonna go into is, is into the filing cabinet. It's really been working out for me. And then eventually I have to put these into my um, junk journal kits that I make for myself so I have all my pages already picked out and whenever I want to make a journal I just grab how many you know kits I want to do how many journals I want to do that has seriously helped me these are so pretty and this is like a separate book right here okay Raining big time here, morning walk with dog. Wish me luck. Oh, good luck. I wish we had rain, but it's so dry here. But I'm going to go out and enjoy the nice Cali weather tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Just tomorrow. I'll be back Thursday sometime. But no, I'm sorry. I'll be back Wednesday sometime. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm going to go see Miss Rhonda, go have lunch with Miss Rhonda. Uh, like that system. Yeah, it really works out for me. The filing cabinet, it holds a lot. <laughs> it holds a lot. And then every time I'm ready, if I don't have my kits ready, I'll pull out, you know, this whole file this whole file of this book and then that whole file of that book and then I'll put it back. So no life tomorrow night now. I wasn't even going to go live today. I had a long day. I had a really long day. I just got home like <laughs> less than an hour ago. <clears throat> and my life is pretty quiet normally so. <laughs> It was a lot of action for me. <laughs> no, I'll be in Cali. I'll be driving. My husband says he's going to drive back that same night. I don't know. Will he? I don't know. But that's what he says. Oh, my grandma got to see my... <laughs> my grandma wanted to see my house. I saw my, gra I saw my grandma this weekend. She went to my mom's house. And I went to go hang out at my mom's house. And she was like, oh, I want to see my, my mom said, oh, my, my grandma said, oh, I want to see what you've done with your mom's old house. She's like, because I spent a lot of time there. I said, okay, grandma. And my dad had already told me that they were going to come here to the house to look at something. I don't know what. And, um... So then I said, well, then just come with my mom so you can come see my house. Because I had cleaned it. If I hadn't cleaned it, I wouldn't have had her. <laughs> but I, I cleaned it somehow. And my grandma, I showed her all my things. And I showed her my junk journals. And she's like, oh, she's like, you're very creative. She's like, you're very creative. I'm like, thank you. She's being so nice. 
She was looking at all my stuff. She was like, oh, wow, you sew. She was, like, very impressed that I sewed. <laughs> Although I told her I don't sew anything that you can wear <laughs> or anything that has to be perfect. She was like, that's cool that you sew. <laughs> See, this part right here, when you try to do too many pages at once, you'll hurt yourself too. <laughs> don't do what I just did, okay, kids? Don't do what I just did. Yeah, we're going to go out to L.A. In my hometown also, which is an hour above L.A. We'll have some lunch with Miss Rhonda. And my husband has a show that night. My room looks crazy. My best friend, he came by too to see the house <laughs> not too long ago. Probably like either Thursday or Friday. What day was it? No, it was Saturday. Saturday, my best friend came to pick me up and I showed him around the house because I had it. And then, then he walked in. He's like, wow. Because <laughs> I keep telling him his craft room is too small for all the stuff that he has. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like craft. Like if I can't get around in, the, in my craft room, I can't work like that. Can't work. And my new my new shelves are really helping me stay more organized than I normally would have. For sure. Okay, so here's my two bucks. Almost done right here. Yay. I have a really busy day tomorrow. I have to redo the fridge. I have to redo the fridge. I, have, <laughs> I have anything in my fridge. <laughs> I have like condiments and old spaghetti in a pot that I need to throw out. <laughs> That's what I have in my kitchen. So there's no need to organize. <laughs> oh my goodness. My husband, my, my, sorry, my best friend was jealous of all my cabinets. And Rick was like, oh, look at I want all those cabinets, but I don't think, they don't have any space in their kitchen for that. Some of these kitchens are really designed really weirdly. Like, my mom's kitchen, it's just not a good design. It's just not a good design. My kitchen is nice. I like it. Oh, is, that, is that a succulent? It's a Koti lead on or whatever. Koti light on. Sedums. Oh, and the ruby glow. Oh, yes. <coughs> These are succulents over here. Is that purse lane? No, it's not purse lane. Ooh, look at these. These are beautiful pictures. I love these. These are, oh, these are lovely. Lovely pages. Of course, I got them because of all the flowers. Y'all know me. The only theme I know is flowers. Um, I did work on, what did I work on this weekend? I cut out all those journal cards. I finished decorating my string quilt journals. I finished putting in all the stuff for the text box and everything. What else did I do? I did chill a lot. <laughs> I need to get back into the Christmas journals that I need to finish and stuff for sale. And I guess that'll be it for Christmas this year as far as journals that I'm going to put for sale. To me, honestly, I'm already late for my Christmas journals to be up for sale. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like already late. Already late somehow. Miss Beverly. You changed your name. I still see the picture. <laughs> but very cool. I love it. I love it. Oh, put that one away, and that is it for that book. All right. Got to prep all these, get them ready for journals. Separation is the first first step. Then I, what I actually really need to do is um, cut them down to size. That's what I should do. But what I want to do isn't necessarily what I'm going to do. So, we'll see when that happens. 
Okay, so we'll see. The next one I want to do is the one. This one is so pretty. This book about floral quilts. Which I love floral quilts, so I'm just so excited about this. How do you even do that shape? How, is that an applique? Is that an applique? Because how else? Yeah, they want you to use fusing, fusing stuff, something about fuse. Okay, so this type of book, like I said, I try and look almost like in the middle. Let's see, there's in the middle. Maybe like around here. And you could tell when the booklet, right now I'm not in the middle of the booklet, I'm still, there's some pages in the booklet. So here's the book. Here's the right here. Okay, so here, tell that you're in the middle of the book. I'm exposing on everything right now. And then again, I have a book cover underneath this right here. So I can just cut it apart. Tough to because I just got through it. I don't think I got. Oh, I did get it. that one. Okay, good. I don't have the sharpest knife here. Probably should. There we go. And then, like I said, then I can pull these pages up clearly, cleanly. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. Oh, I love that. Maybe I should do something like that with like applique. Oh, that would be kind of pretty. That would be gorgeous. That would be so beautiful. Oh. Again, don't try and do too many pages. <laughs> like I just did. Don't do that. Call 144. I'm not going to do that. But it's crazy talk. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? How are you? Somebody did ask me how I was going to cut these all open. So I hope you get your answer. I was going to, I was like, how do I describe all that in a comment? I like, I'll just make a video when I actually do it. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Uh, oh, you know what? I see what they're doing. Like all the little spots where they all come together, they're all like dark color. That makes it look really cute. Light color, light color, and then the corners are the dark color, and the corners are the darkest. That's amazing. I love that one. That looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Tired, empty studio. Oh, you, you had it. You're moving. It's moving time. Put it all back. Oh no. call my room more like I call it a craft room or sometimes I'll call it uh, my studio. Sometimes I'll say it's my studio. Sometimes I'll say it's my craft room. My grandmother called it my workshop. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny but I, I had to chuckle like my workshop. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, workshop. That sounds cool. <laughs> What do you call your craft room? Do you call it craft room? What do you call it? She did. She shed. What do you got? Usually I'll say craft room. Wrong. I will say studio sometimes. Sometimes. And I'll have it here for ever. Put up more shelves. Ooh. I need to do something because my little hook that oh this is beautiful what that is gorgeous it's kind of a trippy thing to look at but it's beautiful it looks like one of those books where like you're supposed to look at it till you see some sort of figure i love it
here. I'm just in love with this book. I am just in love with all the pages in this book. That is very like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> very Cheshire cat right there. Okay, one more page and then that one. Okay. That is that one. This thing has come in handy. <laughs> Sometimes you want to keep things like this. And I'm just going to show you real quick what I would do with this book right here. I would kind of open it up and then I would stretch it apart. On both sides, I'd stretch it apart. Okay, love quilt book embroidery wants to need treat collage borders to tag these pages are amazing. Let's see. cut down the side here. Yes, there it is. There it is. I'm doing this because I will I do plan on resting my hands tomorrow. Otherwise I probably wouldn't do this. All of it. I will rest my hands tomorrow. Just gonna be in a car all day. I almost got it. This is really not sharp at all. Maybe get yourself a sharper one. Oh, okay. I was able to kind of pull it apart. My phone does the weirdest autocorrects. It's terrible. We almost got it all. We almost got it. <clears throat> there we go. Woo! That one was a bit of a struggle. So see, this is the kind of cover that I use for the thickness in between my covers. This is exactly, I would probably keep this cover if I needed it, but I don't. Yes, Miss Vanessa. <laughs> Miss Vanessa, yes. She's been dealing with that too. Okay. This is my Christmas pages here for this book. Such pretty images of nice, nice big pages. I love the cute little illustrations. The paper is not thick at all. It's kind of almost like magazine, magazine type of paper. So it's not, it's not overly shiny either. I like that. It might be easier to glue stuff to these pages. But they are so cute. Uh, each page is really adorable. And it's going to look really cute fold it in half, so I'm excited about these pages for sure. For sure I'm excited about these pages. They're so cute. There we go. Like I said, peace yourself. Don't. Some people really underestimate how much like crafting takes your hands. <laughs> Uh, hurts your hands, or you know how much you use your hands. Oh, you're just working with paper, but sometimes you can overexert yourself. And you're kind of ruining the corners here. Hang on. Let me do this beside the window. Like I said, I love a good index car index page. Oh, this one only had two index pages. No. That sucks. Only two index pages. That is disappointing. <laughs> oh, 
card. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Okay, I got one more book to tear apart after this one. I don't think I'm going to do the whole book over there because that is a thick book. It's a thick little book. What is that? Oh, there's those. I thought they were donuts. They look so good. I'm like, I don't want donuts. I have a friend in town and her family owns a donut shop. Oh my god, really? Her family owns a donut shop and I always go there for my donuts. But they're, they've been closed for a couple months now. Well, they do construction and I can't wait till they're open again so I can go get my donuts because I feel bad eating donuts from somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, I probably have to cut down the page, but did I really have to do that, though? Oh, wow. Yeah, that didn't go any better. Because, you know what? Because this paper is so thin, that's why. That's why. Usually, that really wouldn't happen if this paper is actually pretty thin. Okay, so that book is done. I'm going to do the next one. I don't think I'm going to pull them all apart. I'll do the next one. It's this big old boy here. And again, it has a type of uh, book pages where you can put your finger inside like that. And so that's the kind of book you want. Also the kind of book you want if you want to make a book for a cover. You want to make sure you can stick your finger down the back of it. There we go. Hi, Miss Rain Girl. How are you? Miss Cindy, hello. Ah, this one is easy. This one was like butter. Just like that. Okay, you can make a giant junk journal with this. I don't know why you would. This is huge. <laughs> Anyways, this is what the pages on the inside look like. So this would be kind of interesting to add into journals. I could probably cut these out as a little square and uh, use that in my books. I'm definitely going to cut these out like this and then maybe I can use those for something. So this one I'm kind of excited about. There's a couple of different ways to use this book here and I'm really excited um, to get to it. So this one I might not pull apart entirely right now. Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I did want to do something kind of simple tonight. And again, somebody did ask me how, how I was planning on tearing these apart. See, these index pages, these are great. Index pages are great because they have really tiny type. So it looks like they have like some sort of graphic element to them. But of course, it's just type. I love me some index pages. Okay, I hope everybody had a good day tonight, today. I hope everybody has a good day tomorrow. I'll be back on Wednesday. I'll be back Wednesday night. Uh, going live and creating more stuff in my junk journals. I'll show you guys, of course, every step of the way, everything that I do here in my craft room, I pretty much do live. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me tonight. And... Um, if you have any questions on how I do any of this, if I didn't explain anything clear enough, please go ahead and contact me, leave me a message, and I'll answer it back. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. I'm going to have, I'm going to enjoy tomorrow staying out of the sun. I mean, staying out of the heat, I should say, because the sun, the sun must will be there again. <laughs> so I'm going to stay out of the, I'm going to get out of the heat tomorrow, which will, which will be nice. So I'll be seeing you guys on uh, Wednesday night. I know, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a, kind of a short video today. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.